do, 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 can touch this. Well, actually, you can't touch this because this video is going to be all about the touch effects in the Xamarin Community Toolkit. You can do long presses, which you cannot do in Xamarin Forms. You can do regular presses. You can do all kinds of animations. We're going to see it in this video and more. Let's go. So to show you all about the touch effects in the Xamarin Community Toolkit, I've created a file new Xamarin Forms application. You can see it here on the left in Visual Studio for Mac. Um, it's running on the right on the iOS simulator because I like to work on a Mac, but you know, you can do the exact same thing in Visual Studio for Windows with the same experience. Um, but you know, it looks a little bit different. It feels a little bit different, but you can do everything just the same. Um, so we're about to see a lot of hard reload and hard reload allows you to see the changes you make in your XAML automatically show up in your iOS simulator or your Android emulator or your physical device even. Um, so that means whenever I start changing this title right here and I say touch effects uh, sample, save that and boom, it automatically comes up in the IO simulator. So that is really cool. In fact, this allows me to do this entire demo um, with stop without stopping and starting the whole application. Well, I need to do it just once because I did not install the Xamarin Community Toolkit just yet. So I will show you that right now. Um, but after that, all the changes will be in XAML. So we don't need to uh, leave the application. That is really cool. So let's now first install the Xamarin Community Toolkit. Um, I'm going to go to my Solution Explorer and go to the Solution level here. Um, right click, say Manage NuGet Packages, and I'm going to search for Xamarin.CommunityToolkit. There we go. Uh, it should pop up. Here we go. Already 13,000 downloads, so that is really cool. Um, make sure to get the right one because there is the market one as well and some others that um, kind of share a similar name. So make sure you have the Xamarin.Community Toolkit one. Version 1.0.1 is the latest table at the time of recording this. Um, add package and you want to add it to all of your projects because you know we have that shared code but we also have the code on our platforms um, you know to to access all those platform specific platform native APIs make sure to read that license agreement and accept it to actually install those packages should not take too long because the package you know there's a lot in there but it's still super tiny so that is really really cool whenever after it's added the thing that we need to do whenever you're using this in XAML that is really cool I love XAML but you can do everything in code as well um, we can add this namespace so the package is added right now we can see that here at the top um, but you need to import this namespace so we're going to say XML NS which is XML namespace um, and you can set your own name here I like to use XCT Xamarin Community Toolkit is and what we did is import this very simple simple-ish because no one's going to remember this but IntelliSense is your friend um, URL and that automatically imports all the namespaces where all the controls all the effects all the behaviors live so the only thing you now need to remember is XCT um, and do XCT dot and you know IntelliSense will pick up from there and um, suggest all the good things that are in the community toolkit so um, actually, you know, remove all these labels. Actually, let's run the application. That's what I promised you. So we'll run the application. Um, I remove some of the labels that are in there. And now I can do all the things in XAML. So that is going to be really cool. I kept this one label, which is a big one. That's the title. Um, so let me actually, you know, basic touch effects. So I'm going to show you this on labels. Maybe uh, if I get a little bit crazy during this video, I will pop in some other elements, but, um, you can use these effects on any visual element and visual element is like at the top of the chain uh, where all the UI elements inherit from in Xamarin form. So you can use this on any control basically. Um, so on a label, we can definitely do this. And what I can do here is XCT, like I said, and we can find the touch effect. So you can see there's multiple other things in here, but I'm after the touch effect. And you can see touch effect dot and there's a lot of stuff in here. So you can see animations, we can do something with animations, uh, background images, okay, command, command parameter, um, hoovered. So whenever that is supported, whenever you have like a cursor, um, you can um, use that hoovered uh, state. So that is really cool. There is a lot of those. Um, long press, we'll see that in a little bit. So long press is in here, something that is not in Xamarin Forms out of the box, but we have it in the community toolkit, so that is cool. Um, 
native animation so you know if you're using like on android it has that kind of ripple animation you can enable that on um, maybe elements that don't have it normally um, or on ios it kind of has that fade native you know whenever you press it it kind of fades away um, actually let's just show it here you go native animation save that you can see it reload for a little and now when i touch it you can see that little it's it's kind of hard to see maybe on screen but it fades away a little bit um, so it uses that native animation and whenever we set that to false um, it doesn't do anything right so now it's just a label as you're um, used to it so okay that's one of the things it can already do it's not the most exciting one but you know it's in there um, so let's scroll down again to native 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 so normal normal is basically like your unpressed state so you know the label is just sitting there it's not having any interaction so this is kind of the things that you want to configure for like the normal state um, we'll see that in a little bit as well and press this you know whenever you clicked it whenever you tapped it that is like the the pressed state so um, there's a couple of other things in here um, you know check out the documentation we have the documentation now um, check out the documentation or the sample page on aka.ms slash xct that will bring you to the examine community toolkit repository um, there is a sample app in there and you can check out all these things in uh, much more detail of course but of course i'm going to show you also in this video um, so the first thing we are going to see is like you know um, let's do a little bit of an animation so let's say animation duration is 250 this is as always basically in milliseconds um, also let's make it xct dot touch effect dot uh, animation easing so we have a little bit of a um, easier syntax for this and we can say static um, easing dot well here we go cubic in out something like that uh, so we can do something with the animation and this is like the animation uh, of the thing that we're actually touching right so um, and what we can also say is xct dot touch effect um, dot pressed so this is again that pressed state so whenever you tap it or click it with your mouse um, we can have a pressed scale so we can scale it down a little bit so if we say um, like you know uh, make it three quarters something like that and let's do a little touch effect dot opacity um, so you can you can kind of fake that native animation at least on ios um, by setting the opacity here but you can also see you can do rotation rotation only x only y uh, translation so you can move it around um, you can give it a different background color in fact let's just do that as well uh, but the opacity is going to be you know 0 0.6 so 60 percent and lastly let's give it a little background you will see that if i give it a background for the uh, pressed state here we go background color let's make that uh, actually the same color as this to give it a little bit of a design um, here we go save that it reloads and um, you don't see anything yet but whenever i start touching it now you can see you know it goes back there it does something with the opacity um, so a lot of things going on and simply by adding a lot uh, of uh, well some of the um, properties in here right so um very easy to do now the thing i mentioned is with the pressed background if you do this um, then you also want to specify because now the background stays like this so if you want to do that you also want to do touch effect dot normal background color um, and that is going to be either do we have clear no transparent is maybe the best or white you know you can you can play with the options here so now it's white if i do this and then it goes back you see um, so you can do all these things you can do the animations you can make your own effects like this by touching it pressing it it's amazing so this is some of the basic touch effects so let's um, copy this label and add here another one and do basic touch commands so this is not the only thing that you can do uh, commands there we go um, i'm going to remove all of these for now and what you can also do um, is say xct touch effect dot command so this is just whenever you tap it so you can also use like you know your tap gesture thing that is already out of the box in xamarin uh, this is just another way of doing it so you can say command is and actually uh, we need to use a little bit of data binding here um, touch command so um, if you are not familiar with data binding there should something pop up on your screen right now um, or go check it out in my channel uh, there is some playlists and videos on data binding and how to do that so if you're not sure go find those 
Um, I'm going to skip over that real quickly here. Um, so the command is basically like if you are doing MVVM and you want to do commands, so you want to bind to that. Uh, so we're going to our main page code behind and I'm going to say uh, public command. Um, yes, it knows that. Okay, that's good. And it was touch command. So here we go. Uh, and I'm going to say just get. Uh, so make sure this is a property because whenever it's not a property, you cannot use it for data binding. And in this touch command in the uh, constructor right here, I'm going to say new command. And it's simply going to, you know, you can do all kinds of logic here, but I'm just going to say, uh, what is it? Display alert. Here we go. Um, touched. Message can't touch this. Okay, something like that, just to show you that it actually does this uh, binding context, we set need to set that to binding context is this. So in this in this main page in this object, it's going to look for the touch command, and it's going to bind to that. So whenever I save this, I actually changed code now. So I need to uh, reload this for this to work. So let's quickly do that stop and start it again. Um, and what you should see happening is, you know, uh, we just touch that label. Um, and we should see that display alert get invoked. So here we go touched can touch this works like a charm. There's different ways to do this in Xamarin form. So that is nothing special. But if we now copy this one again, just to see the difference, um, you know, basic and we can say long touch well, it's actually long pressed right long pressed command so we have another property in here which is going to do um, the touch effect and we also saw the long press command um, so you can um, bind a command that is fired whenever you do a long press so that's cool right because long press is one of the gestures that is not available in Xamarin forms I don't know why but we have it now in the Xamarin community toolkit so that is pretty cool so whenever I do this, the long press command, and I save it, let's just keep the same command for now, just so you can see uh, that I don't have to restart the app again. And then when I long press now, see, it's triggered whenever I do a long press. So this one does it immediately. Uh, but this one, if I just click this one, nothing happens. But if I long press it, and you can see it comes up. Uh, but you can also if you paid attention here, uh, there was a little spoiler. So touch effect uh, long press, you can also set the long press duration um, for yourself. So it has a default value. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but it's just enough to feel like a long press. But you can also set it yourself. So if you wanted to have like three seconds, again, this is in milliseconds, so times a 1000. And then I really have to press it like a long time for a couple of seconds before it comes up. See, um, and you can also make it much shorter. So if I make this uh, 250 milliseconds, then you know, it's almost like you you normally press it, although this quick press still doesn't do anything and long press does actually this. So you can really fine tune it the way that you want it for your application. And you can use this long press inside of your application on any element. So that is really cool. Um, now what else you can also, of course, combine all these things. So if I um, again, copy this label, and you saw in the IntelliSense, there's much, much more, I'll leave you to discover that yourself. If you can find it out, let me know in the comments, and I'll make another video for you, of course. Um, but or, you know, let me know what you did in your project and how it uh, turned out. So that is really cool, too. So if we make another label, all the things here, um, and I combined a long press and you know, just a touch effect command. So basically all the things not set this to um, one second. Um, we maybe should change this to be a different command then because now you can see the difference. Um, and all the animations here. So you know, just paste them all in here. Um, then you know, to to make the circus complete. Let's make this a I'll, I'll just keep this for the same long touch command. Um, copy this one too. This should be long, long, and long pressed. There we go. So okay, so now we have a little bit of a difference. And I should rerun this because I now also changed some code. So let's just do that stop and run it because you know, it's going pretty quickly anyway, with these tools on Mac OS. So that is pretty cool. And here it comes up again. So here we have all the things. So if I quickly do this, you know, you can see the animations. Um, it's the normal touch and can't touch this. But I can also do the long press and you can see um, it first comes with the normal. One. Oh, so this is interesting. This is something that you 
might not be able to do is combine these two things. So that is something we find out right here in this video. Um, it's good to know the limitations as well. Um, so if we want to remove this one and now we do a long press, then this one should work, right? Oh, it is. Oh, it's still bind to the touch command. Ah, okay, here we go. <laughs> um, long touch command that I do it like this, long touch command, see, there we go. Um, now let's see what happens. So we do the normal press and we do the long press. Okay, so you can use them both. That's cool. Um, so you can do the normal click and we can see the regular touch can touch this. And when we do the long press, you can see it comes up with the long press and still can touch this. Okay, so you can use them together. Whew. Uh, I just forgot to set up the right binding. So that is basically how you use the touch effects in the exam community toolkit. Um, again, let me know in the comments what you're doing with it or what you still want to see. Uh, what did I miss in this video? And I'll be sure to make that for you. How do you like that? This is a cool effect, right? So you can just pop in a couple of properties on your element and you can do all these crazy things with animations. Now I just used labels, but you can do this on stack layouts, grids, um, all kinds of things. So that is really cool. And there is a lot of more options to explore. Um, I'll leave that for you to do. Let me know if you have any project where you're using it because I am very glad to have a look. Um, so this specific feature I think is contributed by our core team member, Andrei. Andrei? I don't know, I still don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, but this was a separate library, which is probably called Touch Effects, but he was so kind to donate this to the Examiner Community Toolkit, and now a lot of more people can probably enjoy this and we can, you know, iterate it on it together. So that is really cool. If you have any feedback, please open an issue on the Examiner Community Toolkit repository. You can find it on aka.ms slash XCT. That is a much better URL than github.com, blah, blah, blah. Um, so there you go, there you have it. Let me know how you're using this, how you're liking this. Thank you for sticking with me for another video. Please like this one if you've liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified of more of this amazing content. Now this video was created by a request of someone in the comments. So if you want to see a video about a specific topic, let me know in the comments or reach out to me on Twitter or somewhere else. Um, I'll see you for the next video. And as always, keep coding.